Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna make a bruschetta chicken and a side of this. But first I'm going to make my tomato, which will be the topping for all of that. And so I'll let you watch me do that, but let me wash these and dry them first. Okay, so I cut my tomatoes and I have about five here. This is my Rada knife sharpener. I always sharpen my knives before I use them. That way if I cut my finger, cut it good. When I get these peeled, I'll be back. Okay, so I got my tomatoes cut up. Here they are. This is five Roma tomatoes cut up. I'm gonna add um, one and a half, about one, one and a half tablespoons of this olive oil. I'll add a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of balsamic vinegar. And then I'll add a um, tablespoon of minced garlic and some basil. And this is not, that's just something I've got there, so. All right, so let's get ready. Okay, so here we go. So I will add my teaspoon, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of olive oil. This is bruschetta chicken in case anybody's missed the title. I'll do a little bit more. About a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And let me open this, this is new. I got this here. This is the balsamic vinegar. You can get any kind you want. or whatever. I'm going to do a fourth of a teaspoon. basil in here. I had said a tablespoon, but I'm probably going to put more than that. This is just the um, lightly dried basil. Like I said, I'd probably do more because it's coming out anyway. Maybe two tablespoons, a little bit more. some garlic. Minced garlic. Probably about, probably about a tablespoon. Let's see. Okay, so here's my tomatoes, garlic, basil, salt, pepper, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. And I'm just going to 
mix this and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate. This will be go on the top of our chicken after it cooks. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so now I have my chicken. This is the Italian seasoned chicken. If you don't have Italian seasoned chicken, you can always use olive oil and Italian seasonings and to your taste. And I'm just gonna cook these. I'm letting this get warm. And I'll cook these on each side about five minutes a piece on each side. So I will be back. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get this started. Just the directions that it says. And I'll get that started in here. So I'll be back when these get Okay, going. so I have my chicken on. I'll let these cook on each side for about five minutes each, six minutes each. I got this boiling. Once this starts boiling, I will turn it off and um, let it simmer. On a side note, I did get some of this today. I want to try it. I'm going to try this with some um, black beans and probably some tortillas. Tortillas are some um, tortilla chips. This I will be cutting up once my chicken's done. I'll cut these into slices and put over top, put the lid back on, let it melt before I take it out of there. And then I'll be back to show you what I'm doing. And this is boiling, so I'm gonna let this simmer for a while. Hello. All right. So this is simmering and I went on and put some mozzarella in with this. There's some cut up I'm gonna put on top of my chicken. I've already turned this once. Just let it cook a little bit. So, there's that melted. Here is my cheese melting on top of my chicken. And supper is about served. I will show, be back in a minute and show you the end. Here is the end product, folk. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. This is Bruschetta Chicken. And give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later.